What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we have new details on the rumored XCOM Marvel game. If you guys remember, I talked about this game a few different times uh, leading into E3 time. We thought that, obviously, uh, it could be something that could happen around the month of June. Nothing ended up happening, although the uh, the word on the street seemed to be that there was, like, no worry there, that everything is, is seemingly fine, that the game is, in fact, real. And uh, I guess, again, to catch anybody up, this is a 2K game, and this is a game where, literally, it's a Marvel, Marvel universe, but in a XCOM kind of game, right? Top down, you create people. Now, technically, we didn't know some of that stuff, but Jeff Grubb uh, kind of filled in the missing pieces um, a few days ago where he said that you're not going to be playing as, or you're not going to even be using existing Marvel characters. So this is something purely where you create your own characters, they're your squad, and you go out kind of in the battlefield with them. He speculated a lot of other stuff, and the way he talks, sometimes he talks where he, he, he throws in his opinion, right? It's things that he thinks, but he words it in a way where I think some people get confused at, and take it as gospel. So I would say out of all of the stuff he did say, the thing that seemed the most, you know, uh, insider-esque, right, that he, he actually got kind of almost confirmation on is, again, you're not, you're not going to be bringing in Black Widow, you know, <laughs> Tony Stark. You're not going to be bringing these people into the battlefield. You're making your own characters. You name them. You customize them with abilities and gear and, and skill sets and all that kind of stuff, and you bring them into the battle. And there could be vampires in the battle. There could be, And he says that it, it's, it's set in the wider Marvel Universe, which does open up, you know, vampires and just other different kinds of things that, you know, obviously comic book readers may know, but some people are, you know, basically it hasn't been established yet um, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right, the MCU. So that's exciting to me. It's not really, I could see this being a disappointment. And this is, I will, I will credit this, okay, to, to some people. I think when you talk about a game like this, I honestly give them a round of applause for doing this. I give Marvel a round of applause for doing this because do we want Spider-Man games? Yes. Do we want games that kind of branch out and just do different things and different superheroes and all that stuff? Yes. I think, you know, they're starting out slow, but they, and, and some of these games haven't been all that great. In fact, only one, but there's, they, they are spreading out. So you have Spider-Man, you have Marvel's Avengers, which granted is very different. It just didn't exactly work for everybody. You have Guardians of the Galaxy that we, you know, it's hard to judge the game yet because it's not out yet. And then you have this game. So, you know, while I under, I understand why people would be turned off with this kind of game because number one, it is just a flat out different kind of game. If you're not an XCOM person, you're not going to like this game. I really, I, I can't imagine. And then again, you add on top of it now that, you know, you're not playing as the Avengers. You're not playing as the Guardians. You're not playing as literally anybody. You're playing as brand new people. But they'll be almost copycats of characters that we've seen before because that's literally how XCOM games work. So I think it's exciting. Again, as, I, as I've said in the past couple videos, I'm, a, I'm an XCOM kind of guy. I'm not like hardcore. Like I don't play the game you know, religiously, but I respect the heck out of it. I think the gameplay system is phenomenal. I love the idea of it. This game is right down my alley. It's something that I would absolutely support, and I support the, I, I support the initiative to do these kind of different games because I don't just want Avengers 1 through 5. I don't just want 30 Spider-Man games. I want, and I think everybody kind of, I, I really do think that speaks for the majority. I think we all kind of want them to branch out. And then, yeah, when you nail something, you keep going. So, like, they nailed Spider-Man, keep going, but you got to keep trying. You got to try other things so you can see, you know, what works and what doesn't work. So, I'm excited for this. This is, I, and I said this, by the way, before Jeff Grubb, not that I'm an insider or anything, but just to kind of give me some credit, I did predict this before a lot of people. This game is going to be shown at Gamescom. They talked about how it's going to be shown uh, at the end of the month, which, okay, and granted, it doesn't take a genius to come up with that idea, but I do want to make that known. I really do think Gamescom, Jeff Keighley's show, is going to be the time uh, that we get, like, the reveal trailer for this game. And remember, it sounds like it's close. Like, I don't know if it's going to come out this year. In fact, I would say that's probably unlikely, but this is a game that's coming out, like, relatively soon this is not a game that's like three four years away so let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up i will be covering it i will be covering gamescom we'll be co-streaming gamescom if you guys want to watch it with me we can do that right here if you guys want to follow me on any of my other social media links my twitter my second youtube channel we have a patreon and youtube memberships if you guys want to support us there all of that stuff is in the description below thank you for watching guys and i'll see you all on the next video